I'm John Bunn from Rock History Music. Uh, Quincy Jones is not a fan of the Beatles. Not at all. Uh, interesting article from Vulture. He basically told them they were the worst musicians in the world, the Beatles. They were no playing mother, blankety blanks. Paul McCartney was the worst bass player I ever heard. Wow. And Ringo Starr, don't even talk about it. <laughs> you know? I mean, at least he speaks his mind. Uh, he was working on Love is a Many Splendid Thing from Ringo's 1970 album, he recalls, and that uh, Ringo was having problems with this four-bar thing with George Martin in the studio. And and I, I guess Quincy thought this was an easy thing, and they made Ringo go out and have some fish and chips and a beer, and they called in a jazz drummer to basically do it while he was out. Ringo comes back, tries it one more time, and listens to it, and he says, well, that sounded pretty good, but it was Ronnie Varel, the jazz drummer. And, <laughs> I mean, he's, he's cutting. Everyone's entitled to their, their own opinion, and, you know, Ringo's been criticized for his drumming in the past. A lot of people say he invented some incredible things, and I've never really heard that often that Paul McCartney's a, a really bad bass player. I know he's not the best, but it's Quincy Jones. He produced one of the biggest albums of all time with uh, Michael Jackson, with Thriller, of course. He's produced a lot of stuff. But what do you think? He's got his opinion, but so do you. What do you think about this? Make sure you leave your comments, subscribe to our video, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden, The Beatles. Wow. From Rock History Music.